Algebra 2 CREM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Key Facts, Trigonometric Graphs, Question 6, Y equals A the sine of BX. To purchase this complete CREM session, inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com for pricing. And be sure to spread the words to your friends and classmates who also need to review. And definitely inquire about other subject areas. All right, let's delve into this problem together. Okay, so review question six. A radio wave has an amplitude of three and a wavelength, that is the period, of pi meters. Using the interval zero is less than or equivalent to x, is less than or equivalent to two pi, draw a possible curve a sine curve that is for this wave that passes through the origin and be sure to write an equation for your curve all right so this is a lot it's not that difficult but definitely press pause and i'll give you a moment to come up with a solution Alright, so hopefully by now you were able to come up with a solution, and if not, that's completely fine. Let's try this together. So since the period is pi and the curve is graphed on the interval from um, 0 to 2 pi, see we're given all this information, what we need to do is depict two complete cycles of a sine wave, okay? So what we're going to do is basically label pi and 2 pi on the x-axis. And then we're going to divide each of these interval in, intervals into four equal parts, the spacing on the x-axis in intervals of pi over 4, okay? All right, now that that's that, um, the amplitude is 3. So the graph will have to go up to a maximum of 3 and down to a minimum of negative 3 because remember amplitude is, or recall, or if you don't know now, you're going to know, amplitude is an, is an absolute value. So it can go in either direction, okay? All right, so we're um, setting things up pretty nicely. And we just marked our amplitude extents or boundaries on the y-axis. Now, what we're going to do is plot key points of one cycle from 0 to pi, okay? To express your thought process neatly, it's good to show these points in a table prior to plotting them so the grader can know, you know, where you're getting this information from, okay? So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to plot our x values as well as our y values, okay? All right, so let's continue. We're gonna do zero, zero, pi over four, three, pi over two, zero, three pi over four, negative three, and pi zero. Then we're going to do a second cycle. Okay. All right. That's not so bad. Now we're going to basically connect the points in a smooth curve like so. And the equation will have to be in the form y equals a. The leading coefficient is a the sine of bx. Okay. Where a is the amplitude, which we're told and b is the frequency, okay? The amplitude is three, it's easy. We can take that information from the question stem. And um, the period, in the frequency is found um, by the equation b is equivalent to um, two pi over the period, okay? And so when we um, divide 2 pi by pi because we're told that our period is pi, we're going to get 2 as our frequency, okay? So again, 
the frequency B is equivalent to 2 pi divided by the period. 2 pi we're given, and we're told that our period has a length of 5 meters. And then when we simplify, okay, we wind up basically with um, our B value being 2. So that's what we're going to plug in right here. And right here, we're going to plug in 3. Okay? So a possible equation for this graph is going to be 3, the sine of 2x. I'll give you a moment to take this all in. All right.